everyone, my name is Marina Kela and this is Agility Flow. First of all, I really want to thank you for all your feedback and comments. It has been amazing to hear that you have liked these videos. Today we are going to show you two different courses. Uh, you can handle them in many ways, but if you want, you can really challenge your blind courses with these. Here you can see the first course. It's a little bit more simple than the second one and it's made for running full speed and having fun. If you want to train your blind crosses, you can start by doing one on the second jump. It's important to leave early from obstacle 5 to be able to send the dog over 7. Remember to start your blind crosses early so that your dog knows that you are turning. As you can see over here, I'm already turned before Venla gets to the jump. The second course is a little bit more technical than the first one. But again, you can either practice your plank courses, or you can handle it in some other way. If you can leave your dog to start, it's easier to handle uh, the turn on obstacle 3. If your dog turns nicely, you don't have to worry about obstacle 4, just run to make your plank cross. Try to leave as early as possible from obstacle 6, so that you have time to change sides between 7 and 8. The same applies also for obstacle 9. The earlier you leave, the more time you will have with your blind crosses. Running these courses with Venla was so much fun and I really hope that you are going to enjoy them too. If you are going to practice these courses, let me know how they went. It's always so amazing to hear your feedback. Thank you.